Hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to my second channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. Now, if you watched the Salem vlog from last week, then you know what's coming. Well, also, if you read the title or seen the thumbnail, but... <laughs> If you missed that vlog, go check it out right here. We went to Salem for our anniversary and we went to see all of the Hocus Pocus filming locations, stayed in a crazy old Airbnb. And um, anyways, all that is on the channel if you wanna check it out. Now, something that we did do is we made it to America's first candy company called Ye Old, Ye Old Pepper Candy Company. And um, they are known for their Gibraltars and their Blackjacks. That's how they got started. Um, Blackjack, I honestly, honestly, I don't even know what either of these things are. To be honest with you, I got them both right here. Haven't opened them, been waiting for this. So, I guess I wanted to try it with you. I don't know. It smells, it smells like an old house. Which, I mean, that's how the candy store smelled. Anyways, G Gibraltar's first candy made commercially in America. It gazes upon chocolate and sherbet and says, before you were, I was. After you are not, I shall be. I've never been intimidated by candy, but like that's happened today. So peppermint Gibraltar's, not less than a half an ounce, still manufactured, in the original way by Ye Old Pepper Candy Company in Salem, Massachusetts, established in 1806. Wild. Okay. So this is what they look like. And if you watched my Salem vlog, then you know that they have a canister. <laughs> I still don't, it's wild. Okay. So this was established in 1806, right? They have a whole canister of these bad boys because it was this and the blackjacks that they first came out with that they first started making. And uh, anyways, they have a 200 year old canister full of just these. Still there, 200 years old. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what their plan is. I guess we just wait and see how it deteriorates. But anyways, the origin of the famous Salem Gibraltars. Early in the 19th century, the Spencer family sailed from England to Massachusetts when they lost all their worldly goods in a shipwreck and arrived in a rather destitute condition. Their neighbors in the north part of Salem offered assistance. It became known that Mrs. Spencer was a candy maker, so a barrel of sugar was donated. It was this barrel of sugar that laid the foundations of the now well-known Salem Gibraltars business. The pure, delicious Gibraltars at once became very popular. Miss Spencer bought a horse-drawn wagon from which to peddle her wares throughout the streets of Salem and surrounding towns. Her son continued making and selling Gibraltars until he returned to England and sold the business to a Mr. Pepper. This candy traditionally is still being carried on by the Pepper Company today. So, that's how we got the name. They smell really good. Um, well, I mean, hell. It's literally peppermint. Gibraltars, I don't know if this is gonna be chewy. I don't know if this is crunchy, chewy. So this is my first look. We, we first look in together, honestly. So this is what it comes in a little wax paper. Okay. You know, if, if I ground this stuff up and put it in a baggie, I could get arrested for a second. <laughs> Cause this is very chalky, very thick. It, it's also very, oh, I'm telling you, put this shit in a baggie. Do I, okay, just the, the, no, that chalky bit's not delicious. It tastes like those little peppermint that you get around Christmas time. You know, they're tiny, tiny. They're itsy bitsy. Well, I mean, they're kind of chunky. Whatever. The peppermints, the red and white, red and white candy cane peppermints that you get at Christmas. That's what this is. Just without all the flair and the razzmatazz of the red and white stripes around the circle. Very um, chalky.
Okay. Chalky, crunchy, dissolves right in your mouth. I don't know how I'm supposed to see all of this. I like peppermint. I like spearmint. I like peppermint. I like those things. So this just is a lot. Um, that's the best way I could describe it. A Gibraltar is seems to be much like the little peppermints that you get around Christmas time, the little circles. Hmm. Okay. Well, I like it. Could I eat this whole thing in one sitting? No, it's a little too sweet for me. So back in the wrapper you go to share with Hubbard. All right. So now the original Salem Blackjacks circa 1830, an old fashioned molasses stick candy. All natural, healthful, and delicious. Not healthy, just healthful. Okay. Blackjacks were the first stick candies made and sold commercially in America, and they are made from black strap molasses, originated in Salem by George W. Pepper Company. All natural, healthful, and delicious, and are still made from the original recipe and cut by hand. Wow. Now, hold on a second. Is this just black licorice? Is a blackjack just going to be black licorice? Because if that's what this is, I do not want to eat it. I hate black licorice. But we here and we're going to do it. And the only thing I know about molasses, listen, I'm a good old southern girl. Who? I'm a good old southern gal. And so the only thing I know about molasses is my granddad likes to put a heaping mound of molasses on his biscuits. I'm a butter gal. He's a molasses dude. It's fine. So I want to show y'all. It looks sticky. Look at that. Hold on. Let it focus. It looks sticky. Very peppery. Very cylindrical <laughs> what <laughs> Ashley really said <laughs> I guess I'm speaking in third person I really said adjectives okay the little uh, coating on the outside is delicious it starts to turn translucent it starts to turn translucent as you hold it like the little okay has a wee bit of a smell but not one that's identifiable, like not one that I can relate to. Ah, <laughs> I thought it was gonna be chewy. I need to spit it out right now. I guess I won't be sharing that Gibraltar with uh, Hubbin. Um, It's not a strong flavor. So you have Gibraltar's peppermint, in your face peppermint, and then you have the blackjack, which is crunchy. It's sweet, but not really. If I had to describe this, I don't know how to describe it. It's not a, it's not an intense flavor. It's a not, but it, what little flavor there is, it's not a good one. Um, it tastes like somebody picked up a handful of dirt, put it in a cup of water, right? And then they sift the water. And so then you're just left with like dirty water. Mm -hmm. Then they put like a tablespoon of sugar in there and then somehow made it into a hard stick. And that's, that's a blackjack is like dirt water with sugar. Not delicious. Not delicious. Not a good time for me. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what could make it good for me, but it's not. This thing really says healthful, right? It's 80 calories a serving, which a serving is one piece. Um, it says healthful, get this. Total fat, none. Protein, none. Total carbs, 16 grams, 15 of those grams, straight sugar. So that's all you're having, which is not very delicious for me. Not about it. Not about blackjacks. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing about. 
listen, they're America's first candy company and they're still going strong. So maybe it's my taste buds that ain't right, but I'm not about it. I'm not about blackjack life. Gibraltar's though, I couldn't eat that whole one. It was a little too, uh, it's very strong peppermint. That's all it is, it wasn't bad. It's just, that's a big old hunk of something to eat. That's just peppermint flavor. So maybe, but then again, of course, back in the you know 1800s, people weren't just eating candy. You know, it was very special. It was very, it was just very special. It wasn't every day that they got to do that. So like, I don't know, that's something to keep in mind. Very cool that we were able to buy uh, candy from America's oldest candy company. They also have fudge and stuff. I didn't get any of that stuff because I love fudge. I know what fudge tastes like, big fan. They have a lot of different assortments of candy, but I wanted to get what they started with and are famous for and are still making today, which are the Gibraltars and the Blackjacks. Would eat another Gibraltar, would not eat another Blackjack. Do with that what you will. I just wanted to try it and I wanted to try it with you. And of course, and it ain't the 1800s anymore. If you want to try it for yourself, this video is not sponsored. I'm sure you can buy it online. Or if you ever go to Salem, be sure you get it. Um, it's, it gazes upon chocolate and sherbet and says, before you were, I was. After you are not, I shall be. Them some big words coming from just a piece of peppermint. Cause let me tell you something, if chocolate or one of these bad boys were in front of me, chocolate, chocolate, every day. And I don't like sherbet either. So, if I had to choose between this and sherbet, I'd starve. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here and sticking around and just watching my Hello Beans things. Of course, I still got more stuff coming up on the main channel. Instant regret. Obviously, three uploads a week over there. I'm streaming on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday with spooky games during Halloween. And as for this channel, I'll see you back here next week. I don't know what video it's going to be right now. So I guess we'll just both be surprised because I haven't started filming one yet. <laughs> Links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside of the YouTube universe. And I'll see you right back here next week. Bye.